Hello everyone, this is video 4 on how I went about producing this Krevnov style cabinet. It's based on the article in the Fine Woodworking Magazine issue 208. I did some slight modifications to the featured cabinet in the issue, like replacing the glass doors with bird's eye hill and pine panels. After the boards come out of the clamps, I then use a plane to flatten the boards by hand. It's great when you get shavings like this coming off the plane. I check to make sure the board is flat and by using a plane to take off the machine marks it saves a lot of time behind the, sa the sander down the track. I then measure and trim the board to fit exactly on the base of the cabinet. I mark it in place with the transfer straight edge and trim it with the table saw. Next step is to make the timber buttons to hold down the base of the cabinet. Again, you can use figure eights, but I choose to use timber buttons rather than the pre-made figure eights. We start off by getting a scrap piece of timber. In this, in this instance, it's New Guinea rosewood. We trim it down to 40 mils by 19 mils thick. We then make a tuck tongue or tenon that's about 5.5 mil thick. The slot cutter cut a quarter inch rebate into the base so we want quite a loose fit for the buttons. As you can see there's a bit of play in the button which is what we want. Once I'm happy with the fit of the strip we then cut the strip down to individual buttons that are about 30 millimeters wide. And this is how it sits in place. And look how loose it is. That's the way it's meant to be. You don't want it too tight. We then pre-drill a 4mm hole in the middle of the button where the screw will go. That completes the buttons. We can then use them to fix the base of the top half of the cabinet onto the base. I then select the screws. Just got to make sure that the screws are not too long, otherwise it'll penetrate the other side of the board. I then affix the board onto the base with the eight buttons. There's no need to pre-drill the holes on the hewn pine side because hewn pine is pretty soft. This is what it looks like with the eight buttons in place. <clears throat> Next step is to start on the back panel. I machine the sides, top and bottom rails to 15 millimeters thick. This hammer joiner thicknesser has been a good workhorse over the years. I got a com combination machine because when I purchased this machine, my workshop was a lot smaller. Now that I have this larger workshop, a standalone thicknesses next on my shopping list. Before I start working with veneers, I dampen the veneer and press it to make it flat and easy to work with. The panel is going to be skinned with bird's eye hue and pine on both sides. As you can see, I will bookmark, bookmatch the two leaves. Cutting a straight edge on the veneer Lots of light cuts rather than a few heavy cuts. When you do the heavy cuts, the blade will tend to follow the grain of the timber. I then use a bit of PVA to hold the two leaves together for pressing. It's quite simple. Bit of PVA on the finger and down the straight edge of the veneer. In the next video, we finish off the back panel and start putting the top half of the cabinet together. Remember, if you like this video, like us on Facebook. You can find us by searching Timberbits or hit the subscribe button on YouTube. Thank you.